In this example, we're going to look at a pivot table whereby we're, we want to get the maximum, minimum and average leaving cert points broken down by county. So over here in my right, I have my scholarship data. And what I have is the column F is the county and column K is the leaving cert points. So for each county, there's no difficulty getting the max points or the minimum points on their own or the average points in their own. But in this question, we want to combine all three of them in the one uh, pivot table. So how do you do that? So what we'll do is we'll insert the pivot table as usual. So go for insert and pivot table. And we've checking the, the, the rows and the, the range of cells involved is correct. And it is, it's A1 down to M101. And it's on a new worksheet. And what we want to do here is, as, as question five says here on the left hand side, show the maximum, minimum and average leaving cert points broken down by counties. For every county, we want to see all three of those values. So we need the county, obviously, in the pivot table. That's the county in there, fine. Then we bring in the leaving cert points. And the first thing we've got to do here is it automatically sums them up. So we don't want to um, sum them up. We want to get the, our, the maximum in this case. So we go to our values and choose our value field settings and we get the uh, maximum. And that's the maximum points done. Now, how do you get the minimum and the average? So what we want to do is we want to get the minimum and the average also to appear here in our, here in our values section of our um, grid. So what you do is you can't go in and change it because that will just simply change the existing one from max to average or to minimum. So what we can do instead is we can drag the leaving cert points field into the grid a second time and later on we'll do it for a third time. So on the second time around we want to change sum, we want to switch it to minimum. So we go into the values field list and we change it to minimum. So there we now have the maximum and the minimum. And all we do is to repeat, to finalize the whole thing is to do the same thing a third time. And again switch sum this time to um, average. So here we have on the one pivot table, we have the maximum leaving cert points, the minimum leaving cert points, and the average leaving cert points for each individual county. Now perhaps we don't want um, decimal points, or maybe we want just one value after, after decimal points. We can format, we can format them all, I suppose. Let's format them all. So we have one digit after the decimal point. So format cells, number, and one. We'll okay that. And we have it uh, same form or consistent format at least across all three headings or under all three headings. So that's how to to get more than one calculation carried out for one particular column in a pivot table. The other thing you might want to do is you might want to eliminate some of the counties perhaps. So say we want to eliminate Leash, Leitrim, Limerick, and Longford. So we go and we can tick untick those we want to get we want to remove. Leash, Leitrim, Limerick, and Longford. And they're gone. And the other kind of thing we might want to do is we might want to change the actual, uh, some of the labels or something like that. So we might. Okay, so there are the, there are the settings we can play around with. But this is the key. The key um, priority in this example was for for one particular um, column, for the leaving search points uh, column in the, in, the, in the set of data, we can calculate both the maximum, the minimum, or all three of the maximum, minimum, and average leaving cert points. So that's the end of the clip.